Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with a Tinkercad project that we're also gonna 3D print. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is an adapter for venting a laser. These are awesome, they're handy, and they've been coming with my enclosures, but I want more of them. I'm gonna show you just how easy they are to build in Tinkercad. Friends, your first step when working one of these is to measure it. I have got a caliper. This is coming in at 139 for the diameter. And when I measure it this way, it's coming up as 98. So as long as we've got those numbers, we're ready to start building. In Tinkercad, I always choose sign in with Google and we're gonna make a new 3D design. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a note and those numbers that I wanna save are 98 and 139. Those are just handy, having the note there makes it simple. Now let's go up here and name this. It's gonna be called Vent Adapter. And I'm going to put the word laser because I've made other ones. Friends, we're going to build this with something magical called the tube. When you bring the tube out, all we do is type in the radius. Our 98 is a diameter, so we need to do half of that. Half of 90 is 45. We need half of 8, which is 4. So 49 is the radius we type in. Boom. Friends, that's how easy this is. Now, I found that some of my hoses don't fit as well, so I'm actually going to go back to 48.5. And that could also be how my 3D printer prints. I'm going to make my walls 2 millimeters thick. I'm going to change the sides all the way to the max, which is 64. That way it's smooth. Currently, it's 10 millimeters high. I want to change that to 25 millimeters, and bam, I've just created the part where the hose connects. That easy. Let's do control D, move the second one over to this side, and now we need to create the lip. Well, friends, the first thing I'm gonna do is so you can see this, I'm gonna make the height two. That's gonna be how thick this is. And then we are gonna take that radius, and remember we had 139. Well, half of 140 is 70, so then 69.5 would be the exact measurement for 139. It's that easy. Now, we do need to change the wall thickness. We're going to do this using guess and check. So I'm going to bring this out here and get them aligned. I'm selecting two, clicking align, making center and center the choices. So that way it's exactly in the middle. And then let's walk this home. If we type 20 and press enter, look how close that came. Just guess and check. So instead, I'm going to try 22. Boom. That connects. It does not go through. You can see it is halfway by looking at the bottom, and that part is complete. How cool is that? Now, friends, this part has holes, and I want these holes to match up. So I'm going to use my caliper again. And from the outside edge, these are showing up as 131. It's kind of hard for you to see, but trust me, 131 is the number. And then these holes each are 3.5 millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to real quickly go up here to my note, and I'm going to type 131, and I'm going to type 3.5. But I think I'm going to use 4, so there's a little bit more gap on these, because you never know how they'll adjust with 3D printing. All right, friends, let me show you something cool. This is how you hide a part. So that way it's out of our way for this next part. Now remember we need 131 and 3.5, but I'm going to use 4. This is a whole cylinder. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch it to crazyville. Like I said a moment ago, we're going to do the measurement 4 for how big our hole is. Gives us a little leeway. I want you to grab this and I want you to set it close to one of those edges. So see, I am on this line exactly right here. Now friends, we're going to bring out the ruler and put it right on that same corner. And then here's where it gets magical. If we click on our cylinder and do control D and do a few shift nudges, notice it shows us our measurement. Now it's going from the outside edge. We can switch it to midpoint, but that breaks things. We want outside edge. Now we are going from zero to 131, take away four. So if we type in 127 and press enter, bam, that is a total of 131, just like that. Take those two pieces, we can get rid of the ruler, and we are going to group them to show all to bring your project back. We're gonna click on that hole, so let's make sure we got the hole. We're gonna click on our plate. Let's do a line. We want the plate to be the boss, and we're gonna do middle and middle. Friends, we're gonna click on that and do Control D. 
and then out here is a rotation handle. Notice if you stay in the middle, it goes 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you come out past the shape, it goes one degree at a time. So it's easiest to get it right there. Let's hide this part, select all those holes, do your control G to group, or you could hit the group button. We need two of these, one for the inside and one for the outside. So we can do control D and move that away. When we do show all, you have just built your two parts for your vent. I'm gonna select these two and group them. It does not matter that your project is sticking off this, but if it bugs you that it's not large enough, let me show you if we hit workspace, you can backspace and do your 300 and your 300 so you have room for all your parts. Click up here to back out of the workplace settings and you can arrange those however you wish. So my friends, I hope you learned some basic skills in Tinkercad and how awesome the tube is. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you I have the website hlmodtech.com. It has got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. And also down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. While I'm out here, I do want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.